bioprocess science and technology. From the word itself, one can guess it involves some type of processes. As in any process, this will involve the aspects of conversions. In bioprocess, conversions involve the use of cells. Where do we obtain cells? Cells are obtained from different sources, ranging from human to animals, plants, insects, and microorganisms. Cells are used as factories to produce bioproducts. Let's have a look on the use of human cells in bioprocess technology. The human body has various types of cells. Some of these cells can be used to generate stem cells. In return, stem cells can be used to repair damaged organs, bones, and cartilages. Stem cells can also be used to generate new brain cells for treatment of brain diseases or grown into specific organs needed by patients. With organs grown from own cells, the body will have less rejection of the newly transplanted organ. Now we know that human cells can be used for medical benefits. Let's look at another type of cells from animals. Foreign invaders that causes harm and diseases such as pathogens have antigens attached to their surface. Immune cells such as B cells produce antibody that recognize these antigens of foreign invaders and thus these foreign invaders are marked to be destroyed. Traditionally, Antigens are injected into animals for the production of antibody inside the animals. These antibodies are later isolated and they can be in the form of polyclonal or monoclonal. Now, with mammalian cell culture techniques, cells from animals are grown in laboratory. These cells are challenged with antigens to produce antibodies. With controlled conditions, higher production of the desired antibodies can be produced. Now we know that animal cells are important for healthcare. Let's look at another type of cells from plants. Traditionally, to grow new plants, cuttings are taken from a parent plant and this can be from different parts of a plant. Cuttings are then planted on soil to produce a new plantlet. However, some plants grow slowly and some are near extinction while some get infections and diseases easily and thus difficult to grow. A faster way is indeed needed to grow healthy plants and crops. With plant tissue culture or micropropagation techniques, cuttings are taken from a parent plant, places in a nutrient agar, under controlled and artificial conditions to form new plants. As they are grown in a safe environment, they are protected from pests and cloned from a healthy mother plant, thus have higher survival than traditional plants. Only a small piece of cutting is taken from a parent plant to produce hundreds of new plantlets. Once plantlets are matured, they are transferred to soil to grow into healthy new plants and crops. Now we know that plant cells are important for the production of future generations of healthy plants and crops. Let's look at another type of cells from microorganisms. Microorganisms are organisms that are microscopic and cannot be seen with the naked eyes. We can see most of them under the microscope. Bacteria, fungus and yeast are examples of microorganisms. One example is the use of yeast for the production of ethanol or alcohol. Yeast uses its enzyme to convert sugar into carbon dioxide and ethanol. Ethanol is important for the production of beer and wine. Yeast is also used in the production of bread. Carbon dioxide and ethanol produced by yeast escape and evaporate during baking, leaving behind pores. When yeast eats different types of sugars, they produce different types of alcoholic drinks. When yeast eats fruits, they produce wine and cider. When yeast eats cereals, they produce beer and spirits. Yeast also eats sugar from sugarcane to produce biofuel or biopetrol. The main core of bioprocess involves the control of different types of cells in order to produce bioproducts that benefit mankind and our environment. Many factors affect bioprocessing, starting from different types of cells and different substrates as foods that cells need to produce different bioproducts. Bioprocess utilizes cells 
that are microscopic and invisible to the eyes, and yet yield gigantic impacts. <laughs>